a short video on how to draw an ellipse when you're given the minor axis and the minor circle plus a point on the curve. So as you can see, we've been given the minor axis, the minor circle is drawn and point P is located outside the minor circle. The first step I always recommend is to draw a little sketch of how you normally construct an ellipse. So you can see me doing that there. I have my minor circle, my major circle, the two axes, and I use the concentric circles method. So as you can see, using 60, 30 degrees, um, and you find your points on the curve, okay? Just like so. And I use this sketch then to determine in my drawing below what I need to do in the next step, okay? So you'll see I have P, and the sketch, my pencil is just hovering over it, and you'll notice P also um, below in the drawing. So a horizontal line from P um, is the same as the horizontal line I drew there being highlighted up in the sketch until it touches the minor circle. Now from the center point, you draw a line out through that point on the minor circle, as you can see me highlighting it there. And the final step then is to draw a vertical line from point P until it cuts that line going from the center point, okay? And you can see the distance from the center point out to that final point that I found gives you the major radius, okay? So I'm just going to draw my major circle now with my compass, incorrect point there, out to the major radius, and now I have my major circle. With that, I can use my concentric circles method or any other method that, that, that you're familiar with to continue my ellipse, okay? And you'll see me doing it here. And I'm just going to, in a second, highlight to you how the benefit of using a sketch will help you if the orientation of the ellipse changes. So for example, this ellipse is, you know, um, horizontal in nature. Okay, the major axis is going horizontally. So we'll look at it when the major axis, instead of going horizontally, is vertical. And then we'll look at it when, um, it's neither vertical nor horizontal where it's at, you know, um, a, a random angle. So you'd continue on your ellipse. I'm not going to waste time doing the remainder of the ellipse. And the easiest way to, to, to highlight this to you is just by taking the sheet off and orientating it vertically for you to see. So I'm just going to do that for you now, uh, if you bear with me. And again, the sketch is of great benefit here. So as you can see with my sketch, Instead of there being horizontal lines, the lines are now vertical. Or maybe the best way of, of describing it is that the lines are parallel to the major axis. Okay, you then draw your line out from the center point as such. And then the final line is from the major circle, you draw a line that's parallel to the minor axis. If we move it to an incline, the same rules apply. So from point P, you draw a line that's parallel with the major axis. It's parallel with my major axis there, parallel with my major axis, okay? You draw your line out through the minor circle. And then finally from P, you draw another line that's parallel with the minor axis until they touch, and that allows you to complete the drawing, okay? Thank you.